Welcome everyone to Crypto Tonight, the internet and the world's most craziest crypto news program. My name is Darker and I'll be giving you my unprofessional and irrelevant opinion this evening. So what's going on with the markets? There are people getting depressed about the current state of the markets. There are some people even writing shitty depressing songs about it. Nothing is good. Nothing is good. As we can see, Bitcoin is currently at $4,438, down 9.3% in the last 24 hours. XRP, 42 cents, down 12.5%. Ethereum $131 down 12% as we can see it's an ocean of red the prices are down people are losing money people are losing crypto everyone's losing money right right no not right actually for those of you who are new to crypto especially you're about to learn something very 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 interesting believe it or not although we see a sea of red most altcoins are actually up or well, not most maybe half of them are actually up in price you're probably thinking to yourself how is that even possible dickhead i mean everything is red that means it's negative it's gone down in price right well let me show you a little trick that i'm about to teach you my friends if we have a look at bitcoin here it is currently down at 9.3 percent XRP is down 12.94%. If we click on XRP, for example, we can see here that its overall fiat value has gone down by 10.76%, but its Satoshi price has gone down only 5.12%. On face value, it appears that it's dropped 13% in price, but really, its Satoshi price has dropped only 5%. But wait, there's more. Let's go back here to Bitcoin, down 9.3%. Now, let's find another crypto that has lost less than 9.3%. Let's have a look here. All right, screw Tether. All right, Dash. Dash, this is an excellent example. So, we've got Dash down by 6%. Bitcoin is down at 9.3%. Back to Dash, which is down 6%. Let's have a look at what's going on with Dash. It's down 6%, right? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Dash is actually up 3.08%. It's in the green. Its Satoshi price has gone up. People are buying. Its face value in fiat is down 3.26% due to Bitcoin pairing. So here's a little tip and not financial advice. Whenever you see Bitcoin down, for example, like 9.3%, anything that's got a loss of less than what Bitcoin's percentage is, has actually gone up. Let's try another one. Let's have a look at Nano, for example. Nano is down 4.48%. All right, click on Nano. Everything's going fucking up again. Another example, let's look at Verge, which is down 4.85%. Let's see what's going on there. Oh no, it's actually up 2.9%, 2.09%. Again, although its face value in fiat appears to be down 4.18%, it's actually gone up in Satoshi price, 2.09%. So, what does this mean? This means that the people who sold based on fiat value, which is, for those who don't know, this, to prevent further losses are, are expecting to buy back once the prices start to go up, have just fucked themselves. That's what it means. At the end of the day, we should be focusing on this price, the Satoshi price. This is only relevant when you're selling for fiat directly. Unless you want the cash in your hands or in your bank, that's when you sell at this price. Any other time, we must be focusing on this price. Don't screw yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Tom Lee maintains $15,000 year end Bitcoin prediction despite market crash. This guy has got it right. All right, it might not be $15,000. It probably would be $10,000. Definitely will be higher than where it is now. And it only leaves us about five weeks. Greek Supreme Court is violating alleged Bitcoin launderers' rights, lawyer argues. This article is actually about 39-year-old Russian national Vinik, aka Mr. Bitcoin, who was indicted by US authorities and detained in Greece on July 25th. Blah, blah, blah. He was alleged to be the former operator of the now defunct exchange Bitcoin E. Basically, he was offered an extradition, he was complaining about his human rights, and he rejected his extradition, so whatever. Now, this is some real breaking news. Peru Central Banks say cryptocurrencies are risky due to high volatility. Well, she we've been hearing that for how many years now? Can someone tell me how many years we've been hearing this for? Now it's time to find out who the lucky winner of the previous episode's 100,000 Apollo coins is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the lucky winner today? 100,000 Apollo coins coming your way. All right. Good luck to everybody who entered. And the winner is Peter Escagbe. Sorry if I didn't pronounce your surname right, or maybe I did, I don't know. Peter says, keep up the great work. Shared link, Apollo wallet address, and my Ethel wallet address. Jeez, you're, you're trying your luck, aren't you, brother? Congratulations, Peter. You will have 100,000 Apollo coins coming your way very, 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 very shortly. So that just about wraps up Crypto Tonight tonight. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and retweet this episode. Also, in the previous video uploaded to this episode, you will see that there was a solo free listing on exchange contest video uploaded not too long ago. The contest exchange listing competition is by Platinum Dex, the new up and coming decentralized exchange that claims to be the most secure in the world. So feel free to share that, check it out, leave your vote. And as for now, please don't panic amongst the sea of red. I've given you a hot tip of how to read the markets. Just because coins are in the red doesn't necessarily mean they've dropped in value. In fact, as investors of the crypto world, we're seeking for the Satoshis to be going up, not so much the fiat unless we need to cash out now. That's the only time we should be looking at the fiat value. So guys, please be cautious, be careful. Don't shoot yourselves in the foot. It's so easy for people to get these things confused, especially new investors who are really enthusiastic and inexperienced. They need to hear tips like this. So please, before you panic, always check the Satoshi level of whatever you're in before you decide to panic sell. Because once you do check, you will feel a lot better and you will not feel the need to panic sell anymore. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I wish you all an awesome week. And until next time, rock on! Ah!